Welcome to another episode of TLA. If this is your first time, welcome. I'm Keith Nguyen, also known as TLA, and this is part two of the San Francisco Herring Spot. Last time on the San Francisco Herring Hunt, Tui left his wife to go herring hunting on their anniversary. Moo and Andy got two fish combined, and I get blamed for inviting everyone to the Skunk Fest. On this episode, I do a collaboration with Fisherman's Life, a well-known YouTube personality and local celebrity around these parts, most notably for his catch and cook videos. He's a down-to-earth guy, super friendly, and a great fisherman. We had a great time filming, and we couldn't have asked for a better day of herring hunting. Unfortunately, he missed the herring hunt last year, so the pressure was on me to produce some fish this year. Thank you to the herring king right there. <laughs> I was nervous with my herring king title on the line, Will I embarrass myself to his million plus subscribers or can I get it done? Find out on this week on part two of the 2022 Herring Spawn Hunt. Welcome back guys. Today is going to be my fourth day on the Herring Hunt. I've had a successful trip with my friend Twee and Danny on the boat the other day over at Tiburon and it seems like the big spawn has just started to go there was a spawn down at spinnaker so that's a, a very common place that the, the the fish go to to spawn i did hear that they did spawn this morning at like 3 a.m it's like i have no idea why someone would be out there at 3 a.m but that's pretty hardcore man like, it's pretty hardcore me shut down at like at 12 a.m a bunch of spawns all up and around uh, Richardson's Bay, so they're 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 spawning all over the place. So I can't tell you exactly where they are because I just don't know where they are. They're just running around spawning, but uh, just look for the sea lions and look for the birds, and you should be okay. Today I'm actually really excited. There's a long time collaboration that I I've been meaning to get together with uh, Matt's from Fisherman's Life. Today, he's he's super excited to go on the herring hunt. I think he went last year three times, and unfortunately, it was difficult for him to get it. And that's just the nature of this finicky fish. But uh, today, I, I think things are looking looking up because, you know, there, there's there been a good spawn, and it usually happens for a few days. And I'm I'm excited to, to uh, you know, show him what I know, at least. I'm, I'm going to meet him up in uh, San Francisco, and we're going to head over to Sausalito, and then from there, um, I'll keep you guys posted. Catch you guys later. We traveled across the bay and arrived in Richardson's Bay. There were signs the fish were still in the area, and I was hopeful the herring would go and I can get mats on this first herring spawn.
right, guys. So that was a very exciting morning, wasn't it? So that's as best as you can get when you get on a, on a, a spawn like that. We weren't quite sure if they were going to show up, but uh, we definitely appreciate them showing up. It was really strange because it wasn't kind of all along the shore. It was just kind of around along the backside of uh, the restaurant there. So it was, uh, we're excited to do that. But you know what I'm more excited about? I'm more excited about doing this catch and cook with Matt's because I've seen this stuff on on all his videos. And to, to experience it live on, whew, there's sure no butter today. I, I'm, I'm expecting butter, bro. I want, I want some of that butter. We're, we're going to check it out. It was really fun to watch Matt's film his catch and cook videos now. I have a strict don't eat your bait policy except for squid, but for this particular trip, I had to make an exception. In all honesty, the deep fried herring were pretty tasty, so hats off to Matt for making such a great dish. After the morning with Matt, which was a great morning by the way, you can see that, uh, we had a great day and I was super excited that Matt was, was able to get on some herring. Carlos, 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 there he is. Yes. There he is. We're going to go out and take the herring and we're going to throw it back on the beach and see if I can get a crab multiplier. So we're going to go multiply, multiply. multiply the sex herring and sex up a crab to get on him. So we're going to head down to Ocean Beach. I'm going to toss out this, uh, this line. Give me a crab. Carlos and I have an ongoing crab competition, so I would say I'm happy, not happy, that he pulls up some nice large crabs from his crabbing hole. Yeah, it's just short. So in this particular pool, he was able to pull two large jumbo crabs on the same snare. So needless to say, I wasn't very happy about that. We snared into the evening and most were undersized females with an occasional keeper and jumbo in the mix. The action was constant with the fresh herring bait for sure. I didn't have to move a single cat. <laughs> Must be nice, bro. <laughs> Moo has a very effective method when herring hunting. He targets me and comes over when I'm done. It's worked well for him so far. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time on another episode of TLA.